Okay, I'm out here just outside of Little Channel, or sorry, Little Current. And there was something splashing around in the water. Um, way out here, I'm out in the middle here, like there's, there's no land for a while. I thought maybe it was a bird at first, but it hasn't, uh, hasn't surfaced and it, and it wasn't like coming right up to the surface. It almost looked like it was a fish or some sort of serpent. I hadn't heard of the Manitoulin sea monster, but maybe it exists. It's amazing how glassy it is out here right now. Uh, just yesterday I was in like five to six meter waves, just about 10 kilometers from here. And now it's completely glassy and it's a completely different vibe out on the water right now. It's just beautiful. So much more comfortable. It's like my stress level yesterday was up here and now it's not even noticeable even though I'm, I'm paddling quite hard just because I know the wind could pick up at any time. So it's better to get across this uh, big chunk of land or big chunk of water as fast as I possibly can. And uh, yeah, feeling good. It's really hot right now, but uh, but it's beautiful. I mean, it's hot partly because there's no wind and uh, I'm quite all right with that. Oh, there's a nice cormorant. I love it when it's so calm that you can hear the uh, flapping of the wings of a bird. It's day 35, I think, of Roots of Change now. I've come, oh, I don't know, probably close to a thousand kilometers now. And, uh, Of course, the trip has been nothing like I imagined it was going to be like, except for the fact that I knew it was going to be full of surprises. There's Strawberry Island Lighthouse where I just spent the night with some wonderful folks, the Gaffney family and friends. It was an amazing night. Coming to you from the stern of the Margaret Riosha. It's been a long day. In fact, it's been the longest day yet of the journey. We started uh, this morning at uh, 8 a.m. Set, uh, set my canoe paddling from uh, the Tilson homestead on Manitoulin Island where I spent the past three days eating delicious fresh fruits from the garden and hanging out with people who greeted, with me, greeted me with a hug out of nowhere. Lovely folks. And now it is uh, nine at night. I've been paddling for the past 13 hours. 
The wind is nice and calm, and I've decided to paddle through the night because there's some big wind and some rain coming tomorrow late afternoon. And then it looks like unfavorable winds for me for the next week, more or less, here in the North Channel. Oh, feeling good. A little bit tired, a little bit exhausted, but good. So my plan last night was to row... Sorry, so uh, it's day 39. My plan last night was to row throughout the night, but at about one in the morning, the, uh, the wind picked up and the waves picked up and the visibility got poor. And then I started seeing sea monsters. So I decided to uh, canoe to shore and basically just lay down my uh, sleeping mat and my sleeping bag and have a four hour nap. And uh, now I'm back on the water and the wind is blowing me in the right direction and I've got this beautiful uh, sunrise going on behind me. Um, just outside of Algoma Mills, on the North Channel of uh, Lake Huron. And uh, escaping the, the weather that's going to come in today. Doing pretty good. Time to say goodbye to the Margaret Riosha. His beautiful uh, Kevlar canoe from Swift, Prospector. Paddled it here from uh, Toronto. Toronto to Blind River in 41 days. And uh, yeah, it's been a great boat, but it's time to, time to use some power. Head into Lake Superior.